one chest real quick. Oh, Brother, this guy sick! I ain't gonna lie. What's up, Franco family? Back at it again with another full review. We got some Moroccan flavors. I'm gonna show y'all what it look like. In, that's the name of the that's the name of the restaurant, Moroccan flavors. You know, show you what it look at. See the see the steam coming off that bitch. Ooh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa! This don't look or smell half bad. Hey. Gonna try this out. We got the um, we got the little Mexican vegetable mix on the side. We got the little beef in the middle. We got the carrots and cabbage on one side. We got the rice at the bottom. I think I got the fucking plastic off. Me. We got that fruit punch right here on the side. I guess it get a little dry. <laughs> I'm gonna shit. We finna dig into a shit. I'm not a type of nigga. Well, we gonna try everything like by itself. Let's see. I don't know what the um these square shits is. Got a little bit of rice on it, but mm. Mm. not a big fan of like vegetables. <laughs> so like me eating vegetables by itself, I don't really like. You know, you don't really, you don't really hit for me, but I'm gonna try everything else together. You got all this goddamn cabbage right here. Put some of that cabbage over there. I don't need all this goddamn cabbage. Put a little, put a little bit more cabbage over there. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Now we, now we can dig in. Now we can dig in. Go ahead, try to mix this all together. You know, and it's like a meal to where, like, you got to spread out the beef anyway. You can't just, oh, yeah, let me fuck around. You think I'm going to have a whole beef glob of rice. Shit, you're going to have a most, some more globs of rice before the beef, you know? <laughs> so, shit, just mixing it all up and getting it all nice and incorporated and together, getting these flavors mixed. Going in for the scoop. Let's see if I get it all. Damn, got some rice on the table. Ah, crap. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All together. This tastes like beef stew. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> this is beef tagine, by the way. <laughs> when I got there. <laughs> Hold on, let me get that um that beef tagine. <laughs> he said it's tagine. <laughs> like, all right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> don't pull out the nine, Jamal. I know I pronounced it wrong, but golly, I'm gonna go in. Cause they got like tomato and cilantro or whatever the fuck it is on like the right side. Hmm. Okay. How does, how does the right side taste better than the left side? We just the whole meal. What? What's going on? <laughs> okay. Let's see. We got the right and the left side right here. Hmm. Okay. That yeah, is cucumber. Okay. <laughs> Push up these carrots and stuff over here. It's like a tomato and um the um a tomato and cucumber. It kind of adds like a little. Refreshing taste to it, like I don't know, it just makes your mouth cold. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure, you know, 
I don't know if that's what they were going for in Morocco or what, but I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there's no meat at all. Hold on. Hmm. Okay. Pause. You know, I said no meat. <laughs> there was no meat at all, but. <laughs> it was still alright. I'm not gonna lie. It's like the rice and the vegetables. If you like that type of stuff, it'll be good for you. This will be a hit all the way. But like I said, I'm not really that much of a vegetable type of person. But they stand out. Yeah, I'm gonna like it. But other than that, you'll never catch Curtis. You're just eating that fucking carrot. You're just chewing on a goddamn tomato. And some other weird shit. Fucking chowing down broccoli like it's the best thing in the world. You, you won't see me doing that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm gonna cut this shit and nip. I'm gonna nip this in the bud right now. Do not ask me to try no vegan food. And I actually tried no other shit that don't got no real meat. <laughs> okay. It's not that kind of food review. If I see you on some vegan bullshit in these requests, I'm blocking you. <laughs> uh, mm. uh. You know, this this was um this just was twelve dollars thirteen fifty plus tax for a little a little thirteen fifty plus tax and for me really trying like Moroccan food for the first time uh, I'd say it's a little too pricey. I'll say it's a little bit price. Something like this. Could possibly be. Mm. Twelve fifty plus tax. <laughs> you feel me like to get that dollar more? The beef had to be at least seasoned. I don't I don't really taste no seasoning on the beef at all. It's just like the rice and everything else is really doing it. Like, like I said, like it tastes like beef stew. Well, like, it just came like a little bit of gravy on top or on the side or something. It should be good. It should be good. But it's getting a little kind of dry, so I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna give this a rocking flavor, rocking flavors beef tagine. In my head, I'm trying to say seven, but I'm trying to look at it like. But I, I, I I'm gonna give it a seven. I'm gonna give it a seven. It wasn't. It's not better than the um. It's not better than the uh, the burger the, the the Logan's burger that we had last time. Uh, but if you ever want to try Moroccan food, um, get the beef uh, tagine. They also have a lamb tagine. I might I might get that one because that one looks like it was you know had seasoning on it. But like I said, I give this about a seven. If I had nothing else to eat, yeah, I'd come back to this. But if I got something else, I'm, I'm going to throw this shit away. <laughs> well, yeah, I give it like a seven. Moroccan flavors, like I said, the name of the restaurant. But, yeah. Love y'all. I'm going to see y'all in the next one.